Hey, Hope Elam, it's Pastor John with this week's E! News. Hey, you want to know something kind of interesting? I was planning on filming this video outside this week, and lo and behold, here we go, the end of the week, snow. Just when we thought spring was here, more winter. But you know what? We are entering into the season of Lent, and it literally means springtime. So even on a day like this, when more snow is coming down, we know that spring is coming, which means Easter is coming. We kicked off the Lent season this past Wednesday with our Ash Wednesday service as we received Holy Communion and the ashes on our forehead with the sign of the cross. As we start this 40-day journey called Lent, literally means springtime. Spring is on its way. Hope is on its way. Jesus is on his way to the cross, and we're called to follow him there as we go on this journey towards Easter. I want to encourage you in three main ways today as you enter into this season. Whether it's been a tradition for you or not, I want you to consider three things. Our good friend Ryan Kalisar mentioned these this past Wednesday as well. I want you to focus on three things. Number one, to look up. Number two, to look in. And number three, to look out. Where, are, where is your focus this Lenten season? First of all, to look up. So many people, and rightly so, love to give things up for Lent, whether it's chocolate or caffeine or social media, whatever that is. And there's nothing wrong with any of those things, as long as you check your heart. What's the posture of my heart? Am I just doing it because everybody else is doing it or because it's a tradition or I somehow need to impress God with my spirituality? Or am I doing that so that I can grow closer in my relationship with God? What is the true motive of my heart? So often, we're not looking up. We're looking down at ourselves. The focus is on what we can do and accomplish for God. That's not the focus. We want to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Keep your eyes up on Jesus this Lent. Secondly, look in. Are there some areas of your life that need attention? Are there areas of your life that God doesn't have access to because you just keep hiding them? And is there unconfessed sin? Is there fear? Is there doubt? Is there anxiety? Are there things that you need to bring to Jesus? Look in and ask yourself, how am I really doing? Are there skeletons in my closet? Are there things that I'm trying to hide from God? Bring it to him. That's the power of the cross, that God can forgive, God can take whatever's in the darkness, bring it into the light, and heal it. So secondly, look in, and third, look out. You know what grows our faith almost better than anything else? Is getting our eyes off of ourselves and looking to the needs of others. There are so many ways to do that at Hope Elam. We have a great opportunity coming up on Thursday, February 29th. We're going to do a second round of serving our schools. We served Moulton Elementary. Now we're going to serve Edmonds Elementary. It's a great way to meet other people, kind of be the hands and feet of Jesus, and we encourage you to sign up and get involved with that. Whether it's up, in, or out, I would encourage you, where do you need to grow in your faith this Lent season? And use this time, whether it's been a tradition for you or not, to grow closer in your relationship with God. There's also a lot of great ways to activate your faith during this Lent season here at Hope Elam. It all starts this weekend. We've got not one, but two dances, the mother-son dance and the daddy-daughter dance. This weekend here at Hope Elam, no matter what uh, role you play as an adult in your kids' or your grandkids' lives, bring them. All the information is online to register or just come. We would love to have you for this memorable day together with those kids in your lives. Check out all the information online and we'd love to see you. Secondly, coming up this Wednesday, we have an extended time of prayer and worship. It's worship night here at Hope Elam at 6.30. Then, Wednesday, February 28th, a couple awesome things coming up. First of all, our Circle Maker prayer class starts. It's going to be a great time to dive deeper into the topic of prayer during this Lent season and also learn how to activate your faith through the power of prayer. Also that night, time change, we are moving our Wednesday night worship time up to 6.15 from here on out. So we get a little bit of extra time for some of these classes and teaching and worship that we're doing on Wednesdays. So come for dinner between 5 and 6.15 and we'll start worship from here on out on Wednesdays at 6.15. Last but not least, we're excited to kick off a brand new sermon series this weekend about the heart of God. You ever wonder to yourself, what is God really like? What is the character? What is the personality of God? We're going to walk through that over these next few weeks during the season of Lent. It's going to be another great Sunday. I can't wait to see you there.